Hey guys, welcome to the Banner Saga and <laughs> it is finally released and check out this menu screen. I love this image that they drew here. It looks amazing. And just so you know, before this, about a year ago, the Banner Saga Factions was released and that's the free FOC multiplayer game that you can play on Steam. If you want to try it, it's like a free demo to the game, really. If you like Factions, you're definitely going to like this game because this is the single player campaign. Now, I will be recording this as uh, and releasing it as much as possible over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I can finish the game and uh, let's have a look around at the game first of all. Uh, it's, uh, just, just so you know, if you haven't seen the Banner Saga before, the art style is absolutely amazing. The backgrounds and scenery tend to be this vectorish style and the characters are kind of a western style, like almost hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation, which you don't really see a lot nowadays, especially due to the rise of anime and the, the like. Now, first things first, let's have a look at the options menu. Uh, there's a difficulty setting, uh, easy, normal, hard. Let's see, battles are very challenging. Heroes require more rest to recover from injuries. Battles are challenging, uh, but less challenging. Um, I would love to play on hard, uh, on normal, uh, which what should I do? Uh, if I was day nine, I would pick hard. Battles are very challenging. Heroes require more rest to recover from injuries. I think hard is going to be the more interesting choice. Um, but I really don't know if it's going to uh, be great. I'm not sure if you can change difficulty later on, but we're going to stick to hard for now. We're on full screen and that's it, really. Uh, sound and music on or off. Well, let's resume. Uh, not much of a... Uh, options menu, um, not even resolution settings actually. Does it actually just snap to whatever resolution you have? I'm not sure. Um, never mind. Uh, heraldry, what's this? This is crests. Oh, is this uh, thanks to Kickstarter backers for the crest designs? Wow, they actually designed these? Animals, weapons, objects, people, miscellaneous, all. I'm not sure what this are. Yeah, these are, but I'll get back to that. For, uh, let's just jump right in. We're going to start the game. Ah, oh, the Banner Saga. I wish I discovered this sooner. I've only been playing the Factions game for about a couple of weeks now, but since starting that, I've gotten really into it. So let's start the game. The story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. All right. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Well, looks like that's basically the story, and yes, this game is from Stoic Studio. Uh, let's have a look at this. Now, I will talk over the cinematic because I know the uh, music is uh, available. Oh, there's no subtitles, unfortunately. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand largest of the trade cities on the wild human borders and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Alright, the fires are lit and looks like that's pretty much the intro to the game. 
Uh, if you haven't seen it, look at this 2D animation. It looks absolutely amazing. It really... Uh, he's speaking in some Nordic language. Looks like there's some trouble in the palace and... Oh, looks like there's some fighting and killing in the palace. Uh, yes, this is pretty much the intro of the Factions game, but it's always amazing to see this. Ah, oh, look at those giants. I think they're called Varl? <laughs> Love these guys. Just slice them up. Now, this should lead to pretty much the first combat tutorial because I'm assuming that they don't think that people have played the Factions game. Yes, you've just you've arrived just in time. The Chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Uh-huh. So, yes, I know how to play the game. These portraits, yes, yes, yes. Movement happens. If you want to go through this yourself, you can. But basically, this is the gameplay. It's turn-based strategy, and let's kill this guy. Uh, yes, come on, I want to slice him. Here we go. Killed that guy. Now it's his turn. So, basically, uh, you just have to kill these guys. The main complexity of this system is characters have strength. And the complexity comes from uh, how strength is your damage and health. So, causing damage to people will actually um, reduce their potential damage to deal damage to you. And of course, there's these special abilities like that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Kill that guy. And we can, uh, let's see, it's his turn now. Uh, your shield bang won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can boost the attack. Okay, so that means I can boost the willpower and kill him there. There we go. And actually, I have to note that this game, uh, I'm not sure if they've optimized it, but it's running a lot smoother and at a, a lot higher frame rate than um, the Banner Saga factions. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his lust. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. Oh, it looks like the king's in trouble. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Right, looks like we gotta rid the city of this scum that wants to usurp the the chieftain. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped. <laughs> all the other strife is still ongoing. Alright, let's see what we've got here. This is all new here. You're, you're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Eric, steward of Strand, I manage the governor's business. So this is Eric. Uh, Ubin, isn't it? Uh, I, uh, I'm just here for the tithe, what do you want? Um, uh, it is, I guess. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Hmm, let's see. Uh, seems a bit chaotic around here, Eric. It's been worse. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. What does he want exactly? Skull things that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. Skull things, is that the, the enemy that was trying to usurp the, the governor here? The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. Is there anyone left to worry about? Uh, I know who can tell... Uh, if there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Alright. So, it uh, looks like our first mission is to clear this city. Um, what do we have to do here? 
Uh, we have great morale. Varl, 32. Fighters, 0. Clansmen, 0. I'm not sure what those numbers mean. Days of supplies, 100 days of supplies. And we've got 5 renown. Options menu right there. Now, what are we looking for here? Um... Oh, there we go. There's a marketplace right there. Um, I'm not sure. Can we press... There's no indic... This is something that the factions had problem as well. There's no indication of wh what's... Oh, there's a little sign right there. I didn't see that at first. Market. So we're supposed to meet them down to the market. Let's head down there. All right. Eirik says, let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Hard, I'm not in the mood today. For what? Says Hard. This is Hard here. Oh. Talking to an idiot. The Scalfing's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Hard. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into nobody's going to try kill you this time i don't want i don't talk to they don't talk to me let's see uh Eric, need some help here hard i had a change of heart i hope you do give us a hard time hard sweats visibly fumbling with some dirty trinket on his table Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know how much? Just a little food money, yeah? Um, let's see. Should I intimidate, pay him, or do nothing? Um, so he wants me to buy a trinket in exchange for information. I suppose we could do that. Let's, we'll pay him. We'll pay him for this. You toss a, sl a sliver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Hard gestures meekly to a variety of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like, Hard says. Only thing I'd like is the name of a place. Nobleman, up by East Wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Hard skulks away with a wave of... Uh, I, uh, with a wave of Eirik's hand, gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Gunulf. Oh, so are we done here? I love how, by the way, this guy, he's still holding his quill. <laughs> uh, are we done here? Gunulf, were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? No, just bought him while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. Better than an eggplant. Gunulf goes off to look for at more stalls. Arik, that man of yours seemed unreliable at best. That hard guy. A blind dog wouldn't trust hard, but he used to be a scalfing. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall? Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Alright, um... Shouldn't we have an approach of, Where is this place? Shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? We can't just walk up to the place. What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. I guess he's got a point. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. Okay, we got a big reward in... Exchange for this. Uh, so there we go. Mead house right there. Uh, these signs really need to be a little bit clearer, but I guess you get used to spotting them. So let's have a look at this mead house then. You arrive in front of what must be noblemen. A few minutes later, Eirik appears with a weather beaten man introduced as Valgard. I'll point them out. Eirik says over his shoulder. Ready? You're walking through the front door? They ran to a meat house, says Valgard. I'll be surprised if they can stand up straight right now. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eirik is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn, wide-eyed, drunken scalfing scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead stains in the process. Alright, looks like we got another fight on our hands. We shouldn't have any problems mopping up the rest of these guys since we've already taken out their chieftain. Oh, there's quite a lot of them though. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Wow, okay. Well, let's get into a nice position here. Uh, let's see, we got Valgard, we got Eirik, Gunulf, and a shield banger. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, and there's 
the main guy standing at the back watching the fight. Ready to go. Now, how do we deal with this? I don't want to... Uh, I'm not sure. Let's bring up information. They're all pretty weak, but... Um, let's see what they do. If we... I'm, ah, okay, I know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna walk forward here. Uh, try to lure them in. And we're gonna shield wall. This is gonna block three damage per hit for the next round. Let's do that. Always a great start. Let's see what they do here. I want to see how their AI works, really, because um, the factions game is all uh, ooh, two allies. Uh, landsmen can move through allies. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to see how the AI works because um, we haven't really had a chance to uh, test uh, fight the AI. The factions game is all human fights. So let's see. I think I'll target strength and weaken this guy a bit. Prevents him from dealing any major damage next round. Yeah, that's how the shield thing works. Uh, it resists all the damage. So I can't really... I could reach this guy. What's this guy's special ability? Oh, he doesn't have one. We could walk right up to this guy, deal some damage. Uh, but that'll leave us vulnerable for the next round. I'd rather... Let's see. Move out of the way a little bit. To the side here. Now let's just charge right forward. Deal some damage here. There we go. Now, uh, this guy, uh, he's got Tempest. Uh, yes, he, he's the one that swings around. Can't really reach anyone on this round, so I'm just gonna walk forward to... I don't want him to take much damage. So I'm gonna stay one step back. Hopefully they'll target the guys at the front. There's so many of them. Ah, that's always a bad move. These shield bangers, as you can see, every time a melee guy hits them, uh, they take one armor damage. So that special move is actually a really bad idea. Now, let's keep doing some damage to these guys. Um, as long as we keep their health generally low, or their strength generally low, they can't do much damage. Alright, perfect. They can't really reach us. Um, ooh. This guy's got 11 armor. That's really tough. It's probably because he's adjacent to two guys here. Um... I think I will... Who should I go for? I'm just gonna... 70% chance to hit? That's kind of a risk to take. Oh well, let's just go for it first. There we go, luck paid off. Now... Ooh, nasty. Uh, that's a really good move as well. Uh, that prevents... Uh, what do I do here? Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna... Walk around to the side here. And... A 50% chance to hit? That's really bad. Um, let's deal some armor damage to him then. I'm not sure if we can win this, actually. This is really tough. Um, oh, this guy can do a lot of damage, though. I'm just gonna step around this side, use my special ability. Now, this is very important, it goes clockwise, so I'm gonna attack this guy and gonna kill two guys this round. Check this out. Ha ha ha! And a bo uh, splash damage over to that side. This guy's gonna win this round for us. We just have to make sure uh, most of these guys are low health, so I'm just gonna run around this side, keep this guy low as well. There we go. So each round, my frog over here <laughs> is gonna go up to two guys and finish them off. Now, let's see, who else can we weaken here? Let's, uh... Just gonna run right into the middle of this... Actually, can we finish anyone off on this round? If we... three damage... I guess we should just kill this guy off, right? Hopefully we'll hit him. There we go, lucky hit. Now, we can... Ooh, who do we go for here? Finish off these two guys, I think. Or should we go for... These two guys. This guy has nine strength. He's actually more of a threat. So I'm gonna walk over around to these guys here. And see, I want to hit this guy on the left and this guy on the right. So I'm gonna target this guy over here. 
Yes, and clockwise will go around that way, which will kill these two guys. There we go. And a splash damage to him. Oh, we actually won't have too much trouble finishing these guys off. Now, I'm gonna run around this. Attack this guy, keep his health, uh, his strength low. There we go. Now, who can we finish off here? Probably should, uh... Ooh, go for this guy, I guess. Let's keep his strength low as well. Now, they're all, they've all received some strength damage, which is going to keep their potential threat down. We can just walk around here, gain our special ability. There we go. Ah, oh, this bodyguard's amazing. <laughs> He's going to get all the kills. Now, who can we finish off? We could actually finish off this guy. There we go. Oh, it was actually easier than I thought. It looked really intimidating fighting these guys early on, but uh, turned out it was not so bad after all. Let's walk around here in preparation of... Uh, let's see. In preparation of the next round where my bodyguard's gonna finish off these... Oh, he's smart. Moved over to that side, which means we can't use our special ability. Never mind, we'll just kill this guy this round. And actually, what was that? Attack, why can we... I wonder why those pop up. And anyway, let's kill this guy. There we go. Pillage mode, which means uh, there's only one guy left. Let's walk up to him and finish him off with a bit of willpower. Only that shield banger died. Almost lost this main guy, though. Uh, victory! The foes lying dead at your feet. Promotion of Gunulf. Uh, of course, he killed so many guys. And we get plenty of renown. Twelve of it. And let's continue. There they are, gods be damned! I've got to go wash off this blood. Eirik is looking out of the hall's windows onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Vognir. Oh, Vognir. Next for Val kingship, last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Ubin still holding his quill there. He doesn't do any fighting. He just kind of writes things down, I guess. Maybe he can poke people with it. Eirik, yeah. Important guests. See what I deal with all day long? You just killed a bunch of people, dude. Uh, things make a little more sense. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Ah, he wanted to clear up the rebels before these guests arrived. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the great halls before they come by. It's gonna take a while to clean up. Can I ask one more favor? Sure. Uh, what is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eirik and Valgard hustle from the mead house. To his credit, Eirik tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go greet the new arrivals down at the dock. Alright, let's go see who these important people are. A Val up for... kingship. Look at all those boats appearing. Uh, the blue and white, red and yellow. So, down to the docks it is.